Hello and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about jostle stones. What are jostle stones, you might well ask? Well, according to Wikipedia, they are a projecting metal, concrete or stone exterior architectural element at the corner and or foot of gates, garage entries and walls to prevent damage from vehicle, tires and wheels. That's a bit of a mouthful, so I've prepared an, a little animation to explain how they worked. They're kind of obsolete now, but they're a really good indicator of where horse-drawn carts used to go in old town centers and villages and also in more rural areas. The Jostle Stone tag was actually the first proposal I created for OpenStreetMap, and during the process of that, one of the questions was, well, aren't they bollards? No, because bollards are barriers that prevent cars or other vehicles from access into onto the pavement to um, protect pedestrians or from other areas. Just there, they prevent access and jostle stones don't. Um, so that's really basically the difference between them. We'll take a look at the tags that are possible to use on OpenStreetMap and then as usual I'll show you a couple of examples. So here we have the OpenStreetMap Wikipedia and you see the key is man-made and the tag is guardstone and I should really start using the word guardstone instead of jostle stone. I just like the word jostle stone more. But guardstone was the word that is used on Wikipedia. So I thought that might be more of a standard. So man-made guardstone and you find a definition here and it's used on nodes because they're really small. And you see this example here in the info box that's actually in Kilkenny. It's in U Street and it has a benchmark on it, so I thought I might as well spread the word more. And there are some more examples down here, some from Kilkenny, and some were sent to me by my family, which was only made aware of Jostle Stones, sorry, Guard Stones, while I was preparing this proposal. Of course, I had all seen them, but it's one of those things you see and you don't see it. So the first three are in Kilkenny. This one here is um, the house where my aunt lives in Leipzig. It's an old um, printing house that was converted into living quarters. This one my mom sent me is in Berlin. And there are some more that um, my other aunt sent me. And this one is one that I think I found on Wikipedia. I didn't know that you could use wiki comments. Um, but this is a good example that was already mapped on OpenStreetMap by a guy in, I think this is in Belgium. Uh, and you see you have a guard stone here and a bollard there. So the bollard prevents cars from going into this. It looks like there's a shop there to prevent parking in front of the shop. And the guard stone is just the entrance into this laneway here. Bogestraat. Uh, Venlo, I think, is the name of the town. And it's very similar in Pudding Lane in Kilkenny. You have a guard stone at the corner of the book centre here because I suppose um, that um, horse and carriages and carts came through Pudding Lane and went around the corner and to prevent them crashing into the shop front, a guard stone was put there. And there are actually quite a few um, at both entrances of Pudding Lane and a bollard in the middle there now so a horse and carriage can't go in there anymore. But you see the difference between a bollard and a guard stone in those two examples. And there's really not a lot to do with guard stones. Um, you put the node on the map, you add man-made guard stone, and then you can put the height on it. I thought that might be useful. And then the material, which in Kilkenny in most cases, I think, is stone. But you can also differentiate between sandstone, granite, limestone, and so on, if, if you know about that kind of thing. I don't. And, but some of them are made of metal. Uh, I don't think there are any in the pictures, unfortunately. But they used, uh, in, on the continent, they used disused cannons, for example, at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. 
and also on the Wikipedia page they give an example in the Netherlands, I think. So you get them made of metal and there are some really beautiful ones in cork made of um, cast iron. And they have been mapped already by Anatta and Cork, I think. So yeah, and then there's direction um, left, right. That's really for when they're on a wall, like in Chapel Lane and Kilkenny. Those ones aren't mapped yet, I just took the pictures. So you see there are three here uh, in the lane into Chapel Lane. And if this was a freestanding wall, you would want to make clear that they're facing onto the road, so to speak. Um, it's not really that important in Chapel Lane because there's a building uh, to the right, but I think in what they call the ring in Kilkenny, down to Smithick's experience, there are three or four, I think. And I'm not sure if there is a building mapped on the other side or oh, anyway. Um, it will apply to Bennett's Bridge, where I surveyed today. So I went to Bennett's Bridge today, I used field papers and I printed out two pages of field papers and took them to Bennett's Bridge, let me cycle out there. And I knew that there were some on the bridge in Bennett's Bridge, I wasn't sure if there were any more. And basically they're only on the bridge. Um, but it was granted plenty of them, I, I didn't believe there were that many. So field papers, I've made videos about that, I won't go into that again now. Um, how to create the atlas, but I will upload the pages I have already filled in. So on the field papers website, fieldpapers.org, you have three windows, but I've done the first two steps already, and I'm going to upload my two field papers. It is very important to scan them in a good resolution, so at least 200 dpi. And if you don't have a scanner, you can take a picture as well, as is shown in this little image here. Just make sure you have at least 200 dpi. So I click on upload and it, it says here again, make sure the scan photo image is at least 200 dpi. And it has to be JPEG, PNG, TIFF or GIF. PDFs don't work. If for some reason you have only PDF, there are converters online um, that you can use to convert PDFs into those image formats. So if I click on browse now, it opens um, the window and it's there in here. And I just mark both of them and click open. And it might take a while to upload them. And it's very important that when you use the field papers not to get rid of the QR code. I know some of my friends who are collecting field names sometimes get the field papers back with the QR code cut off and then they can't, field papers can't use the QR code to locate the, the map. So it seems to only have uploaded the one page and I saw previously that you're only allowed to upload one. So I just start with that page, that's fine, it doesn't have a lot of fossil stones on it, guard stones, but we see how it works. And it locates your map here and you can zoom in, of course it uses OpenStreetMap. So that's the center of my page. And down here you can uh, choose to edit in ID, Potlatch or Dozens, but since I've only really talked about ID, with some very few exceptions, I use ID. And it helps to be already logged in with your OpenStreetMap username. And it shows the your field paper map as the background map, instead of the, the normal Bing or Esri or whatever imagery you have chosen. So for example, I also checked out the, the post box there and I have the reference number, but I've already added that previously because I want to concentrate on the guard stones. By the way, there's a little lane down here. I think here I have to add it. 
and I would really like to know the name of it. If anyone knows, please tell me. So there's a Dossal stone, sorry, guard stone in this corner here. I used a cross. I forgot that I used a cross and then I used a, a thick dot. Um, so there is one here. I just, uh, I use, you can either use a point, it depends on what you have on the map already. So I chose a point or a node and click on this one here. I could have also just, because there is already a node on that line, I just choose, chose that one. And then let's see if it is already one of the preset guard stone. No, sorry, too bad. So you choose point and you use the tags that we talked about, man, made, guard, stone. I didn't measure any of them because most of them were on the bridge and it just wasn't safe to do so because there's no um, sidewalk, there's just cars and a lot of lorries and that wasn't safe. Um, they have different heights on the bridge. Some are really, really only stumps. They're maybe like three centimeters high. Some are, I want to say a car or two. As I said, I didn't measure them. So I will just add um, material stone. It's probably limestone, but I don't know for sure. So that's the only one on that side of the bridge. There's also a um, street cabinet here, which I indicated by using a square. And there are four bollards here. And I just add one and then copy and paste. I know I said I was only gonna concentrate on on um, guard stones and now I'm lying. And you can switch um, from your uploaded free papers to Esri or whatever you like, just to make sure the bollards are actually on the sidewalk and not on the street. It's a bit hard to see because of the shadows. Did I actually? Um, and you find your free papers under custom, if you have to go back. Maybe it's actually further up here in the corner. You can separate the node from the, the line by using this extract. And then I just move it there. They're all painted white in Bennett's Bridge. And uh, I'm not sure if that is actually it. I can't really see it. That could also be the, the head of the street light. And what I will do for the next bit is add the wall. Here, it might make it easier to add the next two guard stones and save that added guard stone bollards street cabinet and source is survey or free papers. I don't know which one to use really. Hashtag, oh, hashtag, war stones. You don't have to use that. Just to keep track of the project, I'll use that if you want to. And upload. And I'm afraid they won't show on the map. Bollards do. I added those bollards yesterday, so they're already showing. We just go to the next page. And choose the number one. We zoom in now the center. Sorry is on the other side of the north. 
and again I'll choose the ID editor and I did have a bit of a problem there because there was so many under the bridge. I cycled over the bridge and I counted 27 on the left side and then parked the bike here and walked back over the bridge. So there were three here before the river started. So I'll add these. Um, one. Mom need guide stone material stone and then actually I could add the color because they're all painted white just to have something to do just can't remember if the bridge is getting and the direction means we had that on the wiki um, it depends on where the line is going I can't see a direction on that wall but I drew it from right to left so this should be on the left hand side direction we'll see what it shows just doesn't do anything great so um we'll try 180 instead you can use degrees as well yeah so i don't know why that didn't work um that just goes to show that the the guard stone is on on that side of the bridge facing this the road so to speak and i can just copy that and add that here it's not going to be super precise the location as long as there are three of them before the river starts and then we have nine here on that side One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you only get that situation on bridges if even and then there are six more here one two i'm just trying to distribute them evenly because they did seem to be uh, in the same distance and then five here Then there were, so there's a benchmark here, which should be on the wall, um, and it's on top of the bridge, it's not on the sidewalk. I'm trying to remember, I tried to make a point there of where the middle of the bridge was. I think there's seven here before the middle of the bridge. Oh, sorry, of course, they're all go going the other direction. Okay, so three, four, five. Seven, and then I'm at four. Two, three, four, and I'm at six here. We can forward this if you, <laughs> if you want to 
but I think you got the idea by now. So, we have our six centers and so far six. I'm not sure if they mirror each other on the ridge at Kodwari. And then after the middle of the bridge, there were another 13. So one, two, three, and then there was a gap. So maybe there used to be one there and it's just lost two and then seven, I presume that after the rock ends there was one. One, two, three, four, six, six centers over here. Okay. And then the old bridge, which I wasn't actually aware of, the bridge actually goes all the way here. There's only, I'll just switch to Esri, there's only a pedestrian, like a foot path here now. But this is all bridge, all these bits up to here. And there are 20 more here on this side <laughs> and 10 more on this side. But I won't make you watch all of this. There's another street cabinet which I just threw in because there were three on this side and 20 on the, on the other side. Catch up with me after this is finished. So it's just a crazy amount of um, guard stones there in Venice Bridge. Um, looks very funny now. Somebody's not gonna like that in the community, but I mean, it's, it tells us something about that bridge. And I'll save that now. Added guard stones and street cabinet. Because we have stairs to take first wherever we need. For the street cabinet, I actually used Esri. I could kind of see it there. And then hashtag guard stones and save. And I'll wait a few minutes and then run an overpass turbo query just to see how many there are so I don't have to count them. And that'll be the end of the video then. So I just ran the query looking for guard stones and Venice Bridge. And it's only showing 34 and like, well, no, I, I mapped more. But it's because uh, Venice Bridge ends in the middle of the bridge and then it's Dainsport. So instead, I'll just use the bounding box. So man made equals guard underscore stone Venice query. And it's just going to be in this. Oh, there's actually one more and um, there's one at the corner there did i write that i can't remember and we can delete these two lines here because they're only nodes and run that now and there are 86 plus the one that i forgot to map up the corner of the graveyard so that's a very good number <laughs> i i i'd be interested to see if kate daniel has more because I'm not sure if there are any on any of the bridges, maybe on Green's bridge. But the other bridges are all too modern and they wouldn't have them. So 86, wow. Yeah. If you want to go ahead and map Jossen Stones, please do. But I'm hoping to host a Heritage Week event in, in August when Heritage Week is on. And it would be great to have a nationwide community mapping Jossen Stones then. So especially please don't map the ones in Kilkenny, because um, I have plans for those. But if you want to go ahead, I, I'm not going to stop you. But it would be nicer to have a big event where everybody can take part. Slan.